Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a little look at what cookies are in computers. We are, hear a lot about cookies and we, you know most people don't really know what they are and basically you have websites that sometimes will say hey you gotta activate cookies or you know it won't work here. Uh, you've got banks that often say, well, you know, you should delete your cookies and everything after you finish browsing because it will, um, you know, it's dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of bad reputation about cookies also. So what's the exact uh, information of, first of all, what is a cookie? A cookie is simply, when you go on the internet, a cookie is is a piece of information that is acquired while you're visiting websites so it's a little file and it contains some characters a string of characters that identify you for certain things now what it does technically the good side of the cookie is enable a website to remember who you are so that you don't have to enter your username all the time, so that you don't have to, uh, you know, always change something. So when you go into a website, it remembers uh, what preferences you had about this or this item on a website. And it will have, of course, some information about things that you've done. So for example, I can do a search for antivirus software and here I will say oh I want to go to uh, AVG C and so on well every time I'm going to a website like this uh, basically cookies are being written in my browsers uh, w one of my browsers cookie folder cookies will enable this website to remember who I am, where I am. Now, the good side is it makes it easier when navigating through websites because you have less information to enter each time. The bad thing is that cookies can be read from the website you are on. So for example, this website I am on, Google, any website you go to, scans your cookie scans all the cookies and you know what the reason why it does it is so that it can display information that's pertinent you know will be important to you so for example let's go to the pc mag antivirus stuff and now there's no ad at the top but previously when i went here the the ad at the top was for bid defender that's interesting but look here there's also information on the right side of oh mobile 360 series privacy and security data and privacy processes and so on you know the ads that you have on a websites very very often will go with what you were searching I've searched for antivirus well I can bet you one thing if I go on Facebook and there's probably going to be antivirus ads and that's the more negative side of the cookie is that they're used to basically give you information and there's a lot of tracking that ha that's done through the cookies so by checking out all the cookies they know what type of websites you go visit they know what you are probably going to be interested in when you come to this or this website so that it can display ads that are more of what you would probably click on and look at. And you know, I, I, I'm, for me, that's not super negative because if, I'm, if I have to view ads on a website, well, I rather have ads that are of information that I want, that I might buy, that I might be interested in, than have it, um, about something I just don't care about but a little farther than that is that these can also be used for stats about you and 
when you go to a website, well, all the things that you've done and that are in these cookies, kind of make a profile of what kind of person you are. So, you know, it removes a little bit of our privacy. But that said, one of the things that often is said is, hey, cookies are bad, you got to remove them all the time. They are used, yes, they are used in a way that, um, you know, they can generate ads and stuff like that. They are used to keep information about us. But there is a limit to what a cookie has for information. So, a hacker cannot use cookies to hack into your account. It doesn't have the information. It will know what bank you use. So, a cookie will let a hacker know what bank you use. But it doesn't have the information that required to log in, like your password, like your security answers. So that is not there, meaning it's very limited in use if somebody would like to be a bad guy with your information. The reason why banks want you to remove those, because a lot of financial institutions and um, you know websites where you often buy stuff will tell you sometimes, oh, well, you know, you should delete your cookies because that's, you know, bad stuff and uh, it's better to remove them than to keep them because, you know, it has information about what bank and everything. Um, you know, I personally rarely remove my cookies because they are, for me, more valuable than they are a nuisance. And meaning that, yeah, you know, websites probably have a full profile of who I am, what kind of guy I am, and so on, and what I visit. But at the same time, I don't really care because I have nothing to hide, really. And if it's to give me ads that are relevant, that are from the subject that I want, it's okay for me. I have no problem with that. And it does not have enough information for them to, you know, be taking control of my accounts or anything. Um, so, you know, don't be too scared about cookies. Uh, they, of course, like I said, are used, but they have limited information also. And you know what? When cookies are there, what happens is that you can at least know that, you know, websites that want you to remember will, of course, um, basically have that information ready and for you, basically. Um, you won't have to re-enter, you know, some of the information, the personal information that you might have to, basically. So, don't worry about cookies. As far as deleting some cookies only, unfortunately, browsers do not let you delete partial cookies. They want to do everything or nothing at all. So there's no possibility of being selective. That's one question that I had today. Um, unfortunately, websites uh, or browsers, sorry, do not let you delete only some cookies. It's, you know, you delete everything or you, do, you don't. Uh, basically, that's it. So, um, but, you know, don't worry too much about cookies. They're way overblown in security uh, problems. And uh, that's why, you know, the, a lot of websites want to have your, your cookies turned on because they can track a little more of who you are and, you know, serve you ads or information that is more what you would probably be interested in. So, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Hopefully... You enjoy our videos. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, a problem maybe that you'd like us to help, well, let us know and we'll be happy to try and help you with. Thank you for watching.